unlock your potential with eye-popping shoe color combinations for your wardrobe part two. This video is a part two of the original video which just dealt with color combinations within your outfit. However, a subscriber specifically requested that they have trouble with doing shoe color combinations with their outfit. So this part two is going to focus specifically on that. As I said before, this was a suggested video. Under that original video, like I said, a subscriber said, I really have trouble with my shoe combinations, so can you please create a video for that? And here it is. So if you would also like to suggest a style topic, you can go to my YouTube channel, look for this video, we call it our suggestion box, and in the comment section below, you just enter what style topic you would like to see. I've also created a link to that video in the description area of this video. So you can just go down there, click on it, and type in your suggestion. Now in the original video, I gave you four different eye-popping color combinations. So this is going to be very similar to that, except we're doing the outfit and the shoes. But again, I have four color combinations for you. So the first is going to be black and jewel tones. If you are wearing a black dress or a black outfit, what color shoes to wear with it? And it's going to be jewel tones, and I'll explain what that is in a little bit. If you are wearing white, what color combination should you do with your shoes? And it's pastels, and I have to admit, I am completely obsessed with this color combination right now. The next one is going to be looking at if you are wearing red, what to pair with that, and it's going to be leopard print. If you are already being very bold out there and wearing red, why not just keep it going and add some leopard print to it? And last but not least, we're going to look at denim because we all have an insane amount of denim in our wardrobe and we want to know what color combinations we can make with that. Okay, so that's going to be the last color combination I'm going to give you in this video. So as promised, the very first color combination is going to be black. Usually we have a lot of black in our wardrobe too, and you want to know what shoes to wear with that. We all know you can pair any black shoes with that, but what else can you do? Because we're again, we're trying to cre create those eye-popping color combinations. So for black, you're going to want to think of jewel tones. When you think of jewel tones, you think of jewels. So think sapphire, ruby emerald, amethyst, okay, so it's going to be those deep blues, those deep reds, deep greens, and those deep purples that are all going to be jewel tones that go beautifully when you wear black. So I'm going to show you some examples. So let's say you have a black dress that you're wearing to work, or maybe you're going to some other event, okay? Of course, you know you can add black shoes to it and look just fine. However, again, if you want those eye-popping color combination, think jewel tones. So again, you can have that pop there with that deep blue, remember that like sapphire kind of blue. You could also create that with a pair of green shoes, so that emerald deep green looks beautiful with a black dress. Now I'm going to show you another combination, again using black to show you. So this one, let's say it's a more casual outfit. So you have on a pair of black jeans and a black t-shirt. What can you wear with that? Again, look at those jewel tones. So this ballet flats in that ruby red, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's eye-catching. It creates that pop of color right there at your foot. And sandals. So this is again that deep purple, that amethyst purple paired with this. And again, it just took that outfit from just ordinary to kind of extraordinary because you have this fabulosity happening at your feet with these gorgeous colors. So again, if you're wearing black, whether it's for work or a more casual situation, remember, think of those jewel tones that you could perhaps pair with it. And that'll create an eye-popping outfit. So the next color combination that I said we were going to talk about was we're going to go the exact opposite. So instead of wearing black, what if you were wearing white? What would you pair with that? And like I said, I'm completely obsessed with this right now. <laughs> so uh, I apologize if I get a little excited. Okay. So again, let's say you're wearing a work outfit. You have a white dress, white button-up blouse. We all have these for work, right? What can you pair with it? So when I say pastels, the way to think of this is think if you were shopping for a baby shower, okay? And what kind of colors are there at a baby shower? 
shower, you go shopping for baby furniture, what are the colors that are there? So think of like that soft mint green. You can see with that, this is great for spring and summer. You're wearing lighter colors. You're wearing more white perhaps in spring and summer. And so instead of just wearing maybe beige or tan sandals or high heels, remember you can go with those baby soft colors and like that mint green shown here. Again, again, think of the baby soft colors, this beautiful soft lavender color. Go with that, again, beautiful eye-popping color combination for an outfit. I wanna give you yet another example, again, showing you what you can do with the white and pastel. So again, we have a top and skirt combination. This one is a little bit more dressy. You might wear this going out. Um, you have the peplum top and then this um, more form-fitting midi length skirt so again we want to go with the soft pastels think baby shower so you know the soft baby pink i'm obsessed with this color right now it's become kind of a crutch for me that i'm creating outfits and i'm like hey what if i did baby pink in in polka dots or what if i did baby pink and it's like I, I need to be broken of this habit of this habit it needs to be some sort of intervention at this stage but i really love this color paired with a lot of things and i think it is particularly gorgeous if you're wearing all white and so again thinking of baby shower the other color is yellow so you can wear yellow with this as well and so maybe it's not something as fancy as here on the screen but maybe you have on a white t-shirt and a pair of white jeans think of wearing these um, yellow sandals with it so again think of baby shower when you're wearing white as color combinations you can make that are very interesting and will catch people's eye the next color combination we're going to look at is the red and leopard print so like i said you're already being very bold wearing red keep it going add some leopard print to it so for this one, it's a workout outfit. You're wearing all red. You have a red tank top on and a pair of red exercise pants. Then why not pair with it some leopard sneakers? These are super hot. I love these sneakers right here. And again, you're being bold. Why not also have a pair of leopard print sneakers? So you might not want that for your workout outfit. So I'm going to give you another example that you can do for where to work. So if you had this dress that you were wearing to work or for another occasion, um, why not add the pair of leopard print high heels with it? You can see the outfit now just became amazing. Um, you could have worn red shoes with it. You could have worn black shoes with it. It would have been pre predictable. It would have matched. It would have looked perfectly fine. But again, to create that color combination that's going to be eye popping and traffic stopping, you want to do these unusual combinations. So think red and leopard print. And so this can go for a lot of different things. But remember that color combination when you're putting together your outfits. And last but not least, it's gonna be the denim and red. Like I said, we all have a lot of denim in our closet and it's not just because of the amount of jeans we own. I know I have denim blouses and tops and jackets and skirts and shorts. And so what can you wear with all this denim that's in your closet? So again, here is a beautiful dress, perfect for spring and summer, unless you live somewhere with gorgeous weather and you get to wear this all year round. Um, but if you have this dress on, what can you wear with it again you're going to look towards making eye popping color combinations so we're going to add red so for this one added a pair of red wedge sandals and you could see it's absolutely gorgeous again you could have worn this with a pair of tan or beige sandals you could have worn it with black sandals it would have been perfectly fine still a cute outfit but it takes it to that next level because you have this unusual color combination going with it so if you're thinking i don't think i could you know walk around in shoes that high even though they're wedges so it makes it a little easier you wear flat sandals with that so here's a pair of red flat sandals completely gorgeous and again creates that unusual eye popping color combination and I have one more example to show you of the denim and the red. So here it is, the denim and the red. Let's say you have this outfit, a pair of jeans and a denim blouse. Okay, what can you pair with that? So again, this is a more casual outfit. So add a pair of just flat sandals, but I love that it has a little ankle strap there with the bow, completely gorgeous, um, to wear with this outfit. Okay, so again, instead of just reaching for like the shoes you typically would do, getting a pair of black ones or um, a pair of maybe beige or tan, choose the red. And again, maybe it's a casual day, you're doing a lot of running around, 
you could do red sneakers with it as well and to create that um, really gorgeous outfit um, and color combination. So again, we're looking for eye popping, traffic stopping, color combinations, and I just gave you four of them here. So let's recap again what those are. So you really have them and then when you're choosing your outfit for tomorrow, you'll know how to do it. So we have the black and jewel tones. Remember jewel tones, think of jewels and gems. So it's sapphire, emerald, ruby, amethyst, all those colors, great combinations with black. Remember, for white, you're gonna go softer. It's gonna be those pastel colors, baby shower, that soft pink, the soft lavender, that mint green, that soft yellow. All of those colors are great with white. And for red, you're being bold. Why not be bolder and add the leopard print to it? And I gave you some gorgeous examples of that. And last but not least, we all have denim in our wardrobe and what can we wear with that? And the answer is red. So if you have the red ballet flats or sandals or even sneakers on the last example I shown you are all great eye popping color combinations to really take your outfit to the next level. You would not have had this video if some subscriber did not comment below the video to let me know that this was their style challenge and what they needed help with. So if you have additional questions, you would like to see a part three or there's other color combination kind of challenges you're having, please let me know. Again, you could go to our suggestion box on our YouTube channel and comment below and let me know what you would like to see or below this video add a comment and let me know what you would like to see or what your challenges are and we can go ahead and create a video for it. Last but not least, if you loved the advice in this particular video, you are going to fall head over heels in love with this free makeover course. So you can learn how to go from plain Jane to captivating a cheek. It's a seven part email course. All you have to do is go to www.nomoreplainjane.com, put in your name and email, and you are on your way to becoming captivating in cheek. Thank you so much for watching the video and have an awesome day.